Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. In Season 4, we learned a few basic definitions for some real virtues. In this season, we'll be trying to pin down the real meanings of some things that people treat like virtues, which aren't always virtuous. In other words, fake virtues. Today's fake virtue is non-judgmentalism. Believe it or not, the whole non-judgmentalism craze is based entirely on the Bible, but not just on the Bible, on one verse of the Bible taken utterly out of context. Judge not, that you be not judged. Matthew 7.1 It's interesting to note that out of all the verses in the Bible, this is the only one that non-believers and deliberate, persistent sinners seem to have memorized. It seems to advocate a sort of non-judgmentalism when taken by itself. Jesus does indeed say not to judge in this passage. What does he really mean? What does it mean to judge someone? Well, there are many definitions of the word judge, which are verbs, but four overarching definitions stand out. 1. Act as arbitrator in legal proceedings. 2. Condemn or convict. 3. Confront or criticize. 4. Evaluate. When Jesus tells us to judge not, I think we can immediately rule out definition one. Obviously, legal proceedings are an important function of society. However, the question becomes, did Jesus mean that people should never evaluate others? Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. John 7.24 What? Jesus told people to judge? Yeah, he told people to judge. Clearly, the meaning of the word judge in this verse is evaluate. When you evaluate a person or their actions, don't do it based on mere appearances, outfits, hairstyles, figure, etc. Use proper judgment in these matters. Sounds sensible to me. So we have definitions 2 and 3 left to examine. Does the Bible tell us not to criticize people or confront them about their sins? Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord, and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard in love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. 1 Thessalonians 5, 12-13 Oh my! People who admonish their fellows are to be held in high esteem. This means definition 3, criticizing people, but is this just meant for certain church leaders, or is it meant for everyone? And concerning you, my brethren, I myself also am convinced that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able also to admonish one another. Romans 15:14. In other words, we all have the responsibility to admonish one another, provided that we have a rightly formed conscience ourselves and are able to discern what the right thing to do is. As big a fad as non-judgmentalism has become, it's been blown totally out of proportion. When Jesus says not to judge people, what he means is, don't presume that they're necessarily going to hell. Don't condemn people as though you were God yourself. He's not telling people not to criticize or evaluate others. I find it interesting that that one verse of the Bible is so popular, while the other half dozen plus verses that tell people to admonish one another, to punish heretics, to drive out the wicked person from among you, etc., always seem to get ignored. Rest assured, not judging doesn't prevent you from helping your brother to escape his sin. And if you need more proof of that, let's look at what our first quote actually says in context. Judge not, that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, Let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Matthew 7, 1-5 Even this one verse, you see, implies that we should correct others. It just says that we should do it after correcting ourselves. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.